In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God is good, has called us himself. Let us pause for a moment. Let's let the times in our lives we have not come to God. It's our whole heart. For these times, let us ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have set the heel to contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to come to you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, by your death and resurrection, you brought us a new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who made the mother of your son to be our mother and our queen, graciously grant that sustained by heaven and session, we may attain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised by you to your children through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations, in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering? You would not accept it. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O oh God, you will not spurn. I, I will pour clean water, water on you and, and wash away, away all your sins. sins. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not 
touch your hearts. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, the Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, <clears throat> The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fat cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. And the rest laid hold of his servants and mistreated them and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroy those murders and burn their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready. But those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main road, and buy to the feast whomever you find. The servant went out into the street and gathered all they found, bad and good alike. And the halls were filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to the, his attendants, Bind his hands and feet. Cast them into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Jesus Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. There's a, there's a proverb that states, clothes doesn't make a man. Clothes doesn't make a man. Then why the emphasis on clothes in today's gospel? Why did the gospel, why did the king throw out one of the person attending the wedding because he didn't have a wedding garment on? Right. I mean, does really clothes, does it really make a man? Does a bad man wear good clothes? Beautiful clothes that make him good all of a sudden? No. No, then, then why the emphasis? It sounded like to me the clothes had a, had the a effect on the on the king today. Appearance. I think it's more of an analogy of, of being spiritually ready to be at the wedding at God's place. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Is there a wedding pro clothing protocol? What is the golden rule of a wedding, of any typical wedding? White. I don't want to wear white. Sheila, you've been at a few weddings, I'm sure. Well, people always dress their best. Their best. Number one, pro college, dress your best. Right. Sure. So no fake tuxedo shirts. Let us see. <laughs> but also, what else? Also, be clean and wash so it. Exactly, but what else is pro call for women? Number don't one rule for wear, women. Do not wear white. Don't compete against the bride. Oh, okay. Pink. Number two, for a funeral, what are expected protocol for clothing for funeral? Black. Black, right. Unless unless you're going to, to a Vietnamese funeral that you're expected to wear white, color of mourning, different culture. But there's a certain protocol for these cultures. That you're not supposed to wear skimpy clothes for weddings or funeral. Bad idea. Don't wear skimpy clothes, tank tops, or anything else. Because why does clothes really matter for these protocols, for these special occasions? It's out of respect. It's out of respect. It shows the person that you are. It shows you how much you care about the bridegroom or the groom or the other people there. It shows your respect. Proper preparation is crucial. And thus we hear today's parable how important the wedding garment is. It shows you, more importantly, his respect for the king. That he is going in the he is going to attend a banquet. It's more than just food, isn't it? Yeah. It's about showing respect. Showing that he that he properly did everything he could to prepare for this wedding banquet. Mm -hmm. 
And it shows an analogy in by our life. Because we are ultimately all invited to the wedding banquet to come to the Lord, come to the feast. And now foreshadow of what that, of what that of what celebration entails is a preparation for that eternal meal. It's the here and now mass. When we come, we come in the presence of a king. And that king is who? It's Jesus, the king. In fact, we do know Christ the king, a feast called Christ the king. That honors and respects Jesus, that Jesus ultimately is a king in our life. But it's more than the wedding garment that we were expected to wear. Because that's a reflection of who we are. Do we come to church prepared? Do we come to God's house? Are we prepared for the ultimate bank, wedding banquet? The eternal banquet with our Lord. In, in fact, we may ask ourselves, how am I getting prepared for this special event in my life? How am I prepared by how am I living my life? Do I maintain, do I have a love and respect for my neighbor? Or do I come judging everyone else, taking the role of God, the judge, and become the judge, jury, executioner for the person? Or do I, am I compassionate to my brother and sister? Do I seek to understand them instead of judging them? Yes. Seek to understand so I may cross the bridge and help, and perhaps help them to be holy, better people. These are the questions we need to ask ourselves. Do we really, or do we spend our time in prayer? How much time do we really pray and think about God each and every day? Yeah. And so today, my brothers and sisters, I just inv invite you. Because oftentimes when we think of the those who are thrown out of the wedding banquet, I wonder, who do we think those people are? Oftentimes the biggest surprise we find out is that person could be us. A lack of preparation, a lack of care and concern for others. You know, there's, no, there's a... Oftentimes, not only do we not love other people, but we are indifferent to other people. Yeah. Indifferent to their suffering and pain. Right. And so today, my brothers and sisters, I just invite you to open your minds and heart to see the suffering of one another and, be, and do what you can and pray for one another to relieve the suffering and the pain that oftentimes we cause to one another in this life. Amen. Trusting in God's love and mercy, let us turn to him now for all our needs and all the needs of the world for Pope Francis, for Alexander, our bishop, and all our priests, bishops, and deacons. May God's grace be upon us to help lead and guide their people to everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord for each and every one of us, for each and every day, we return to the Lord and seek before else. To serve, faithfully serve him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all the prayers and concerns that words that lie deep within our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all, for, for each and every one of us, for each and every day may we seek to serve, to faithfully serve God and love one our, our neighbors as ourselves, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all the our brothers and sisters who have gone before us, trusting and believing God's love and mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving, compassionate Father, accept the prayers of your family gathered here. Help each and every one of us, Lord, to trust and believe in you. We ask us to Christ the Lord. Amen. <laughs>
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, dearly beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Let the prayer and the glory of his name. For our good and for the promise of his holy church. As we observe this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we bring you our offering, O Lord, praying that to be given strength by the humanity of Christ, who offered himself on the cross, as the unblemished oblation who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of the, all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness and we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things, extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of the handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, the Son, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we rejoice, may our voices we pray, join with theirs in the one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 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 God of souls, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks to broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your, your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Paul, Alexander, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all to pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles, and all of the slaves who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may ne'er to be called heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the sacred command, informed by divine teaching, he dared to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sits here, Apostle, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in the course of your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord with you always. And we see your spirit. Let us offer to the side of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Rest in us, peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter into my room. But only say the word, the word my and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are you who have believed. Now what is spoken to you by the Lord will be fulfilled.
Let us pray. Having received this heavenly sacrament, we humbly pray, O Lord, that we who reverently celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary may merit to be partaker of your eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Join us for Mass tomorrow. We have a wonderful adoration and benediction after Mass. Give and praise the Lord. There's nothing like silence mm -hmm. to experience the God's goodness and love in our life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us from battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with him, we humbly pray. And then the fellow Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits, and travel about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.